We're in back of exec 15. I'm going to show you how to edit the error handling rules. So when you do have an error in a backup job, you can tell what uh, backup exec should do because of that error. So let's click on the start button and choose configuration and settings and error handling rules. A new box is going to pop up. All right, so you've got several different uh, devices here, as, or, or uh, errors here. Uh, you've got backup device errors, media errors, uh, restarts, job cancellations, all these different things, and what uh, can be done with those particular errors. So let's look at one of the more common one, ones, backup device errors. So you highlight that one and click Edit. So uh, if you want to enable this rule, just check the box to enable the rule. And from here, you can change the name of it if you'd like. And if the final job status has failed, here's what's going to happen. It's going to automatically retry the job, uh, maximum number of retries, retry interval. And you can also uh, do a final job disposition setting where you put place a job on hold until after the air condition condition uh, has been uh, cleared, or you can automatically reschedule it as well. And once you have decided you want to do that, just go ahead and click OK. Now, besides all of the uh, errors here, you can also go ahead and choose new and call it whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and click uh, the box there to enable it, and we'll just call it a test. And again, the final job status has failed, and the error category, you can choose whichever one you want. Let's just say it's a network error, and you've got several different codes that pop up. So depending on which category you choose, you'll see different codes that appear. So let's check the boxes that show up. We're just going to choose them all, but you may not want to do that. That's up to you. After the error code happens due to these particular errors, you're going to tell it to automatically retry the job, uh, and here's the retry interval. And again, you can uh, do the final job disposition changes as well. Once uh, that's done, you can go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that this particular custom uh, rule has been created that you can go ahead and uh, help mitigate various different backup exec problems. So that's error handling rules and how to uh, edit and create new ones in backup exec 15.